Now, how many times have you seen it all together? Well, we've seen it nine times now. We saw it eight times between 1985 and 1987, and then the recent sighting in January, which we took the video at. Um, the, seven the eight times we saw it were all definite sightings. I mean, there were times when it stuck its head up several feet out of the water, so we know it was definitely it. And one time we actually saw it swimming from the other side of the bay, across the bay, and it was up on the surface the whole time, and it came all the way across the bay over to this one particular buoy that where it seems to hang out and it comes over and hunts in this area. So tell us about some of your other encounters. Okay, well, one of the other encounters we actually took four photographs at, and this particular time, again, it came over to where this buoy was, and my brother and I were watching it, and all of a sudden we saw what looked like two telephone poles, like floating up and out of the water like that, and then it went down, and then all of a sudden a head came up, uh, in front of the buoys about 30 yards from us and both of us are going get the camera get the camera and so I grabbed the camera and just before I took the camera this thing had stuck its head up and was looking that's when I saw the front of it and then it dropped down before I could get a picture and so we watched for a little while and then about 50 yards out in front of us we saw all this commotion going on and actually we, it was the animal again and it popped up to the surface. This particular day it was raining a little bit and I got one picture directly at it as it was going out in front of us but it, it that picture didn't come out and then I r actually ran down the beach because I thought it might be going in the same direction as it we saw it in the past and I ran along the beach and several times it popped up towards the surf on the surface one time it had its head on the surface and it was just skimming the surface and you could see the undulation behind it in the back and I actually followed it down the, the beach around the point and it was about 20 yards away from me. I went down to the water and it was down there and that was the picture. On several other occasions, one time I saw it stick, but by the buoy stick its head up by, out of the water, about eight feet out of the water and, these, and then go back into the water. And then several of the other sightings were a little more distance, but we could see the head and several arches breaking the surface of the water from about 100 yards away. But most of the sightings we've had were only within 50 to 25 yards, so we got some good close sightings. Yeah, that, that is pretty close. If you got that, that close to it, you must have had a really good look, and you managed to draw up some pictures yeah. from your sightings yeah. as well, haven't you? Because unfortunately, you can't always be right there with the camera. And so the first sightings, we did do some drawings to try and give people a better idea of what we what we did see. This was when it rolled off the rocks and it resettled back into the water, and it spread out the the fins so that it kept it from, it stabilized like the midsection. Mm. Otherwise, I think it would, it would be impossible for it to swim because it would roll, that meaty stomach and everything would just roll in the water. Mm. And this is the way he, and then up here he formed a couple of undulations and then he slowly pulled out like a freight train. Just like the front went, and the back waited for mm -hmm. the front mm -hmm. to move, and then it just pulled forward. <laughs> Rolling. So how did it actually move through the water? Okay, what several times we saw it was different, but the first time we saw it, we saw it moving at probably its fastest speed because it, it lunged at the animals and then attacked it. And we actually saw it create these folds in its upper body. Uh, if you can imagine ribbon candy, the way it folds like that, and it would flip its neck really hard and fast, and it would create these folds. And then what was unusual about that time was that it, all four folds would move together. They wouldn't spread out, but they would move together down the upper length of the body into the midsection, like a piston in a car. And so it would just move, create, kept creating these undulations and 
then it crashed into the water. Did you see how it was actually moving through the water? Yeah, I have seen it on different occasions. It moves differently. The first time we saw it, when it was moving the fastest, it actually created these vertical undulations, very similar to ribbon candy, if you can imagine folds in the body. And the animal was whipping its head and its neck as fast as you could see it, and it would create these packets of four folds that would move down the length of the body like a piston in a car. I think that's where it gets all this power from. And then it kept doing that and it, and it circled around and that's when it crashed into the rocks the first time. On other occasions we've seen it when it was going a little sm slower and it seemed to just create one or two undulations in the neck part of the body that would roll back into the midsection and then dissipate in the midsection. So uh, it depends on how fast it's going, how it moves. How fast do you think it actually swims? Well, there's been different reports. We saw it, it, it had to be going at least 35 miles an hour, but other witnesses have testified that they think it can go at least 50 maybe 60 miles an hour so it's very fast and when it's whipping that in the head and neck it's it's like an arrow going through the water it's just totally amazing mm. okay now you've had the video that you've taken analyzed yeah. by experts right what did they come up with? Well, there's a lot of uh, a lot of talk being done right now, but uh, Dr. Pava has concluded his uh, his analysis, and he's determined that the the video is is authentic, and that it does contain several large, elongated, unknown marine animals. We don't know what they are, but he's determined that they're over a hundred feet, and they're maybe a, what we videoed, maybe as many as six or seven of them and that they're traveling at a rapid speed. And in, it, in this case, they were traveling against the tide also. Mm. Do you know what... Do you know what techniques that he used to analyze your footage? Well, you know, I don't know really the, the mechanics and the techniques that he did use. I'm not an expert in analysis, but I know he's done a lot of, of stuff dealing with the motion and the movements of the animal. I do know that we, in the video, we actually used a Sausalito ferry that came through at the same time as for the scale of the animal. We, we have determined from Sausalito ferry company that that particular boat is 169 feet long so we have a good way of judging the size of the animal and the speed of the animal from that. Mm -hmm.